Hello and welcome to the 195th episode of The Hot Issue. I am Dr. Amjad Ayub Mirza and you are watching me on my YouTube channel. Today I want to discuss about the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. <clears throat> now, first of all, I, I would like to inform you who do not know that uh, Hamas is classified as a terrorist organization by uh, Japan, by America, by other countries, which I will read out to you. And uh, these countries uh, consider Hamas as a terrorist organization. So they include uh, Canada, the whole of European Union, Israel obviously, and Japan and America. Australia, New Zealand, Paraguay and Britain only consider Hamas's military wing as terrorists. They don't consider the whole organization as terrorists. Now, uh, what is happening here must be taken into context with the recent developments in the Middle East, which are that uh, finally the Arab countries have come to realize that the only solution to regional peace is <clears throat> to end their hostilities towards Israel. Hence, we see that uh, Israel has been uh, establishing uh, diplomatic uh, uh, relations with uh, uh, UAE uh, or vice versa UAE has uh, initiated diplomatic relations with UAE uh, with Israel and other countries as well have uh, uh, shown their willingness Saudi Arabia for instance has already allowed Israel Israel to use their <coughs> pardon me airspace uh, which is uh, very encouraging and uh, uh, so what actually happened here well uh, on the 27th of Ramadan which is a very holy day for Muslims they pray all night and ask for forgiveness for their sins of the past year uh, at Masjid Aqsa there was uh, a congregation of Muslims and Israeli soldiers and security forces were protecting them. They were, they, they created an environment where the Muslims could peacefully say their prayers. And there was no hostility from the Israeli soldiers. There are videos available in which we can see that how Israeli soldiers were even helping elderly Muslims to climb the stairs or to get into the mosque, etc. But uh, Pakistan and Iran are not happy with the UAE and other countries developing diplomatic relations and recognizing the state of Israel, which obviously is a pre-biblical state anyway. So what happened is that Hamas planted uh, people, terrorists, among these people who were praying and they started throwing stones on the security forces to provoke them to open fire on the um, on those who were praying in the Aqsa Mosque and from here the conflict developed and Israel did not uh, uh, start the war but uh, the Hamas from Gaza they up till now about an hour ago they have fired uh, 130 rockets on Israel but Israel has got uh, an air defense system so roughly speaking about 90% of the rockets uh, fired by Hamas has, have not been successful in reaching their targets however those who have reached their targets have uh, created a lot of damage, loss of life as well in Israel. Now in retaliation, and this word is very important, retaliation. In retaliation, not as an aggressor, but in retaliation, the Israeli forces have responded and they have uh, pin, uh, pinpointed 
those uh, buildings and those locations from where uh, Hamas is uh, is firing those rockets. So uh, uh, there is very little uh, loss of life during this uh, attack. Uh, um, I mean, this retaliation from Israel because there is precision uh, attacks or there are precision uh, targeted attacks. So what is happening here? Uh, how come Hamas has got uh, such technology and rockets and trained army that uh, can uh, conduct such attacks on Israel? <coughs> well, uh, these uh, Hamas uh, uh, military people are trained in Pakistan. And uh, they come, they are brought to Pakistan under the pretext of Palestinian army. But uh, they actually are Hamas. And every year about 30 to 40 cadets are trained in Pakistan. Now where are they trained? I've got a list here which I have obtained through my own sources. And I'll read it out to you. The, the training of Hamas uh, cadets is uh, it takes place in Pakistan in the following uh, institutions which belong to the Pakistan army. Pakistan Military Academy in Kakul, Command and um, Staff College Quetta, School of Infantry and Tactics Quetta, School of Armor Noshara, Military College of Signals uh, Rawalpindi, School of Military Intelligence Mari, School of Artillery Noshara, War College Islamabad, PF Academy Rasalpur, Naval Academy Karachi and Air Defense College Karachi. This is where uh, Pakistan, uh, Hamas are being trained. This Hamas, a terrorist organization, uh, is a Sunni uh, fundamentalist organization who is affiliated to, which is affiliated to uh, Islamic Brotherhood. So this is, first of all, uh, this organization uh, has been, is being funded by Iran and trained by Pakistan. So there is an evil uh, axis at the moment between uh, Pakistan, Iran and Hamas and this evil axis must be destroyed if regional peace has to be achieved. Thank you very much for watching The Hot Issue. Please subscribe and click on the bell icon.